last room corner. So happy to have you guys back here. Uh, it has been another week, another week just rushed by, but we are here and I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here in this corner. I love this corner. <laughs> it's just, it's so cozy and there's lighthouses everywhere. What more could I ask for? <laughs> so before we go ahead and jump over to this week's story, uh, we're going to have to jump back to last week's story. Now think of your brains, what was last week's story? Give you guys a little hint here on something to do with this poster piece. We had a poster piece on a little bit per usual. So just think about it. It had something with glasses and like this bright shining light and then the, then the sky. His, his name was Saul, but then it turned to something else. Anybody, anybody remember? Yes, it was the story of Saul turning into Paul and how he was a changed man, how he was against Jesus. And then he was confronted by Jesus or by, by his voice. Um, and then it just, he, he was like, oh my gosh. And he, he was able to see and he was blinded and then he could, could see again. It was an awesome action packed story. So if you haven't seen it or if you just missed it or what, whatnot, go ahead, go back, watch that story. Cause we're actually continuing uh, with that same, uh, same person here. So we're continuing on his story, which is super, super exciting. And we're going to, I guess, I guess we're just gonna jump right into it. Okay, so this one is called Paul Escapes. Now, unfortunately, it is not in the good old beginner's Bible here, so we're just gonna read it from uh, our material here. Uh, which is still gonna be just as cool. So, so this is from Paul Escapes. So Paul stayed and preached in Damascus. Cause remember, he, he went through this big change, he was against Jesus, but now he's all for Jesus. He, he's like, yeah, Jesus, he's awesome. Um, so he's preaching in Damascus and saying all these good things and he's spreading the word of Jesus. And he told everyone, Jesus is God's son. So he went all about spreading the word and, and doing what, what God and Jesus wanted him to do. But then the people who heard Paul, they were kind of confused because they remembered that Paul had been bullying the followers of, followers of Jesus before. So, they, they make a very good point here because, I, I mean, just like, maybe there's a kid in your class. I know in like fourth grade, there's this, this, this one girl, me and her, we never got along at all. And she, she was mean and, and, and she, she just, we, we just, we just didn't get along. We were like frenemies, I guess you can say. Um, and we, she just, wasn't nice um and I mean we, we got along fine but it was like we, we bumped heads every once in a while um but then I, I imagine if so some usually there's one kid in your class that is not not the nicest it's at least I don't know it's been a while since I've been in elementary school but um I, I know there's like usually one kid in the class that was like yeah okay you're, you're there but I'm not really gonna gonna mess with you because you, you don't seem too nice um, that's kind of how Paul was before, or excuse me, Saul was. That's how Saul was. Um, he, he was kind of that, that mean kid in class and, and whatnot. But what if that, that mean kid in class, who wasn't exactly the nicest, just came in one day and he was just, or she, was just changed completely. So being super nice and, and going around everywhere doing nice things. Could you imagine how confused you would be if that one girl from fourth grade came back into that classroom and was super nice and whatnot, I would be like, whoa, what happened to you? And I'd, I'd be a little bit confused. So would you guys be confused too that if that one kid from your class came in and was super duper nice? I, I, I would be confused too. So these people here, they, they were pretty confused because they had seen Paul, but instead Saul when he was, he was mean and he was talking bad about Jesus. And then he comes in one day and he's just like, yeah, Jesus is God's son. He's awesome. He's great. You should totally like learn about him and, and all these things. So they, they would be pretty confused. And because of that, many people, they didn't trust him because they were like, okay, well, you were this, this, you were, act, yeah, sorry, you were acting like this, this way at this time, but now you're acting this way and this time. And they were confused and it caused them to, to not really trust him. So after Paul had been preaching there for a while, Paul found out that his life was in danger. So this does not apply to us in, <laughs> in, in our elementary school classrooms. But they, they didn't, trust, didn't trust him so much that they were like, well, we might, might need to do something about him. 
So he found out that his life was in danger. He was going to try to, whenever he left the city to go preach somewhere else, they were going to plan to to hurt him, and that it was it was not good. It was some scary stuff. But some disciples, the good old disciples, who did trust Paul, helped him escape from the city. So the people who wanted to hurt Paul, they had like stuff lined up around the walls. They had soldiers and everything. Paul was, he was not getting, they, they were going to try to make sure as much as they could that Paul was not going to get out. But the disciples were like, hey, hold on. We trust you and we know that you're trying to do good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to help you escape. Now, think. If you were trying, if you were in a city, and you were trying, and you were Paul, and you were trying to escape the city, how would you escape the city? Would you just waltz out the front gates? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe you could if you were like really good at sneaking around, but probably wouldn't. Um, you could go maybe in like through a back way, or like there was like a back way in the city that you could go through. You could do that, or you could. Just just go different routes, maybe a route that's not patrolled that often. Um, maybe exit out one way to, to get eventually get over to another place. So th there would be there would be some ideas of, of how you would get out of the city. But Paul had a pretty crazy escape at the time because he didn't just go through a back way. He didn't just go one place and then walked around and got to where he originally wanted to go. Paul got into a basket. On, on top of a high wall and he got into a basket that was tied with some ropes and they lowered him down from the wall. <laughs> that is so crazy. So he lowered him down through an opening in the city wall so he could get out of the city safely. So that's crazy. He, he didn't just, just, he didn't just waltz out the main door. He didn't go down back way. He went on top of a wall with some disciples, with the, some of the disciples help and went down a basket. How cool is that? That's so crazy. Uh, so, usually if we were in a classroom situation, we would go outside and we would have a rope tied to a basket and we would put like a baby doll in there or something and pretend it was Paul and, and bring it down. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. But luckily, our craft actually has something as... <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll be able to show you the craft and it'll be like exactly like the story. I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned for that. But that, that's so crazy. Uh, that, that's about the story story there, but that's so, so cool. So Paul went and he he just went down through a basket. <laughs> so, like, when you think of escaping, you think of, like, sneaking around, and Paul's like, no, I'm gonna go down a basket. <laughs> I just think that that's so cool and so funny. So, he did make it. Paul made it out. He is safe. So, that is good, good, good. So, that is the Bible story for today because we have finished by the story we are gonna go ahead and get a poster piece and this poster piece is a basket and while I'm gluing it on think to yourself why would we be having a basket for our poster piece think of the brains think of the brains all right now the reason we have a basket is because that's what Paul used to escape or a basket specifically a basket tied to a rope and now actually if I put this piece on evenly there we go we have completed this poster. So here, uh, just a quick review over everything, because uh, we'll probably have a different poster next week. Uh, hopefully, I'll have to see. Let's see. But um, so here we have the lame man. He's jumping uh, because he just found out he could walk after he could walk for his whole life. And here we have Peter in prison, where the angel helped him escape. And then here we have last week's story with. Hold on, just a second. Okay. And here we have. Uh, uh, Saul turning into Paul with the glasses and how without glasses he was, he was blinded. Not actually, he didn't have glasses, but when he was blinded he couldn't see, but as soon as God allowed him to see again, he turned into, uh, well, he changed his name to, to Paul and he ended up uh, going out and doing all these good things. And then finally, here we have uh, Paul escaping in the basket. So there we go. So we have our, our wall all complete. This is probably one of my favorite posters that we've had, simply because it just reminds me so much of the church, church's window panes, uh, or glass stained windows. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So awesome job! We have completed a poster piece that is that is pretty cool. And one more time, we are going to go over our verse of the week. Actually, this has been verse of the month, I think. Uh, but that's okay because it's such a good verse, and it says, "As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard." That comes from Acts chapter 4, verse 20. 
So, there you go. Because even though, uh, through, through, throughout all these stories, um, specifically the past three, um, there were people who were trying to, actually, no, four, yes. <laughs> there are the past four stories, people were trying to stop other people from spreading the word of Jesus. But did Jesus let that happen? No, he didn't. He did everything that he possibly could to make sure that his word was still spread. And that is so, so incredible. So we had an awesome set of stories. I hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I did. They, they, were, they were so much fun. So we'll be back next week with a set of stories. But before we can even think about next week, we got to look at this week's craft. And this week's craft is pretty awesome um, because it is, now let me scoot forward a little bit. So you can see me more. There we go. And it is Paul over here going down a wall with a basket. And he can move. That is so cool. So he had his disciples helping him out there. And then he went and he went down the wall to safety out of the city. So this is really cool. This one is a little bit tricky. Uh, you can make uh, Paul go up and down uh, many different ways. Uh, for this way, so you start out with, with just a sheet of paper like this, and then you cut down two slits where the ropes are going to be. So this rope actually is is separated here. Let's see if I can show it properly. There you go. So hopefully, there you go. So the rope is separated here, but it's not cut down all the way because we don't want Paul <laughs> to, to fall down. So he does get stopped there. And then with Paul's, uh, the way Paul is attached, is he just has this piece of paper and you just fold it kind of in a circle um, and then it just kind of wraps around the rope. Uh, you, you could do this with like a piece of yarn, you don't have to do it with paper, you, you guys be, be creative. There's multiple ways to do this craft, you don't have to do it exactly like this. So, uh, and then you, uh, I, I did this, uh, you don't have to, I made it so there's a tab so it's easier to slide Paul up and down. And then also, you aren't supposed to fold the sides. But I thought it was really cool because then the wall could actually stand. <laughs> it's easier when it's on a flat surface, but there you go. So the wall can actually stand. And uh, then you can go ahead and draw, after you make your little attachment piece to go on the rope, you can go ahead and draw Paul specifically in a basket. Because he didn't just climb down a rope, he went in a basket, which is so cool. Um, and you can go ahead and draw Paul there, and then you can draw his disciples. Or not his disciples, but some of the disciples that helped him there. There's uh, depicted here, there's two at the top. I see you which whichever you want. So yeah, that is the craft for today. And then what you could do too is after you make the craft, you can go to your parents or maybe uh, you and your siblings. If you have more multiple siblings, or if, if you just have you, then you can tell your parents. You can tell somebody in the house, whoever that may be. Uh, you can go ahead and retell them the story of Paul escaping from the city. So there we go. And with that, that leads us to the song of the week. And the song of the week, I could not find a, or I couldn't think of a song that connected to the story for today. No worries though, because I got a lot of uh, good songs uh, in, in, in my brain. I guess I, I have like a, a backlog of like church songs that are pretty awesome that I think you guys will like. Uh, so this one is called More Than Conquerors. It's by Brendan Collective. And this is a song that I first heard on Christmas. It's so much fun. <laughs> it has a lot of arm swinging and, and, and clapping. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's just a, a good song overall. So I definitely encourage you guys to go listen to it. Uh, it's on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you may get your music. I bet you it is on there. So it's, it's a fun song. So I definitely encourage you guys to go and listen to it. I'm going to listen to it right after this to, to brighten up my spirit. So, yeah. And with that, I think that leaves us with the Lord's Prayer. I hope I'm not forgetting. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I hope I'm not. Pro I'm, I probably am. But it's okay. I'll bring it up next week. So we're going to go ahead and say the Lord's Prayer. You guys know how to do this. This is like, what, 12 steps at a time? I don't even know. I've lost count. Um, I say the first line and you say the, you repeat the the line and then we'll go back and forth read and response or listen and response in this case um just like we do in the classroom it'll be really awkward for me because i won't be able to hear you but you'll it'll, it'll be just like we do in the classroom for you because we'll be saying it back and forth as long as you say it so you guys say it. so all right let's bow our heads and pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it
it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And with that, we are done with the classroom corner for this week. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to probably, I need to check, but we're probably going to have a new poster piece. But I know for sure next week we're going to have some awesome stories lined up and ready to go. We might even have a new Bible verse. I don't know. We'll see. Might be a little crazy. Who knows? So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I hope you guys had, a, are, had and are having a wonderful week. Be awesome. Be amazing. You guys always are. But even be even more awesomer, amazinger. Those aren't words, but today they are. And uh, just, just, just be yourself. Be happy. Be do do something new this week. Do something exciting. Um, just, just, just be awesome because you guys are absolutely are. I miss you guys so, so, so very much, and I hope that I will be able to see you guys shortly. But until then, I will be seeing you guys next week in the classroom corner once again. All right. So have a wonderful rest of your week and bye-bye.